What is going on, all you beautiful people? May the force be with you. How annoying is it when somebody starts off a video and they're sipping on coffee? <laughs> uh, anyway, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm Big E. That is is Mr. Cutter. This is our undead rogue. We are in classic fresh season of mastery. This is a permadeath series. That is in, that's the only way that is a hardcore challenge. It is a permadeath series. Um, everything else goes. Anyway, we're here in the undercity. We are level 12 and we have not trained up yet. That's why I'm jumping around here. Anyway, we're going to check in with Miles Dexter. I believe this guy's name is. Look at me remembering stuff. Let's see. Slice and dice. This increases our attack speed. So this is a finishing move that increases melee attack speed by 20%. Lasts longer per combo point. This is good. We only have five silver to play with, so I'm not actually going to get this. Um, because I'd rather be used to eviscerate. I'd rather be doing damage to something if I've got five combo points. Backstab. I can't afford it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we need this, too. We need kick, man. We need an interrupt. Um, can I sell anything? Oh, my golly. Gosh, golly. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Gallows End. Is this Brill? We have to change that. I think that's Brill. Okay, well, that throw. Excuse me. That throws a wrench in our plans i want the upgraded backstab and i also want the upgraded or the uh the interrupt for spell casters all right we'll have to put it off temporarily i have no way to get any money we have nothing to sell actually let me look in the bank let's look in the bank i probably have some herbs that i've thrown in there let's see if we can sell some stuff they're both eight silver. We need 16 silver for both of those abilities. Yikes. Well, we need we need like 11 silver. Let's see what we have. I am oh, we've got some. All right, give me that, give me that. I don't like doing this, but I like abilities, and I can always get these herbs later. Give me that. Give me all of this, I suppose. All right. Dark lady, watch over you. Dark lady, watch over you, my friend. Let's go back to the rogues court. Well, we'll go to a vendor. Let's see what we can get here. Actually, let's do this. It's a cockroach vendor. Here he is. Hey, brother. Speak quickly. What do you give me for this? Two silver? Two, four, five. Oh, man. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope, we're not going to make it. And I just sold everything. That's not even a silver. Um, okay. Well, we can get one ability. Man, I just need four silver. <laughs> this is my only character on this tune, so it's not like I have another character that I can send gold, uh, gold, you know, send a little bit of money over. I don't really like doing that anyway, but it is helpful sometimes, that is for sure. Anyway gonna have to make a decision whether we want an interrupt for those spell casters which i think would be a wise choice where the hell am i going what did i do here yeah um well we'll see what the upgraded backstab does because i also like the idea of uh, DPS output. We'll take a look. Let's go ahead and change that. 
Oh man, I hope everybody out there is doing all right. Surely do. I'm not too bad. Let's see. All right, brother. This had better be good. Um, where is it? Oh, right here. I, I'm on it. Okay, so it actually doesn't look like that much. Okay, so the difference is they both cause 150% weapon damage. This does 15 extra damage. 150% uh, weapon damage plus 30. I'd rather have the kick. If that was more DPS, I mean, we're obviously we're going to get it. Uh, and I just don't care about these other things right now. A quick kick that injures a single foe for 15 damage and interrupts spell casting and prevents uh, any sc school of spell being cast for five seconds. We're going to get that. Our time will come. We are going to get it. Um, and that's going to go. Where's our kick going to go? Our kick is going to go right there. All right, now, now what are we gonna do? I think we're gonna go finish this quest, uh, the skittering blood from the spiders. Although, honestly, I have been thinking about uh, getting us into the barrens. It is a little bit more conducive to our level range. I mean, it's not like things are way over our level range, but there are things that are one or two levels above us. And for a hardcore challenge, not ideal. I like taking chances. I generally like mobs that are yellow or higher, but it is different when you're doing a hardcore challenge, right? Like if I'm on Finn or Mountain, yeah, I, I don't want to be fighting green mobs. I want to be fighting uh, yellow mobs. Anyway, let us... Man, what the hell? <laughs> I'm scatterbrained today. And it kind of sucks we had to sell all that stuff, especially to a vendor. But uh, it is what it is. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I am um, let's get back here. Beware. I, w I should probably make put my hearthstone there. Um, we'll make a decision on whether we want to go to the Barrens. Just a quick uh, Zeppelin ride to Orgrimmar, and then uh, a quick run. Well, not a quick run, but well, you guys know how to get to the Barrens. <laughs> so, um, we, somebody left me a comment. Thank you for your comments. I can't remember your name because I'm an old guy. I can't remember stuff. <laughs> but uh, I think back on over on our Lucius, on Lucius, on our Hardcore Warlock Challenge, I do have a rule set in place. And I have broken the rules at least twice. Uh, the first time I broke the rules, I just was not paying attention. What happened was it was in the beginning of the episode. I was doing my intro, you know, like, hey, everybody was, you know, all that stuff. And we'd gotten a buff and I didn't even realize it. I wasn't paying attention. That happened again in episode three. Uh, I had got Blessing of Kings, which is a five minute buff. And Blessing of Kings is a, that's a pretty good buff. And apparently I killed I killed two or three mobs with it and just did not I just wasn't thinking. Uh so that it, I'm really going to try not to do that. I think what I'm going to do uh aside from really try to pay attention to each hardcore challenge that I'm doing, I may just kind of make a rule set across the board that affects all characters because for instance right now on Cutter there are no rules. We could have green gear. We can have buffs. We just can't die. However, over on Lucius, um, I'm not allowed to have outside buffs. Um, what am I doing here? We're going to go this way. It's just a different rule set over there. So because I'm playing like five different tunes and at 1.6, we were also on the uh, the, uh, the Pandaren Monk, which had a rule set as well. It's hard for me to keep up. Um, but I... I looked at that video. I don't think it was a game changer. I did break the rules, and that uh, I do feel kind of stupid about that. Uh, but I, I don't think it saved us. I don't think it was a rule changer because we were in uh, Goldwyn for or Elwyn Forest. Goldwyn. 
Uh, let me pay attention here. Um, get him out of the way. But I am going to try to do better. I really am. And I do appreciate the comment. Because, you know, stuff like that, it helps me to remember. Uh, you need to pay attention to follow your rules, you know. Boy, I hate it when we miss Eviscerate. And I really, really hate it when we miss it twice. It's just one level above us. All right, let's let's uh, let's dine on a tasty corpse. What do you mean there's no... I was going to say, that's a humanoid. Okay. Tried to fix the playlist. I was... There's like 30 songs in this playlist, and for some reason, last episode or some of the other episodes, it was playing like just four songs. I don't know what's, what's going on there, but hopefully I've got it fixed up here. So we're going to go over here, back this area where the cave is. We're going to kill some spiders. I'm going to be careful on the way there. I've mentioned this before. Yeah, some of these things are two levels above us, man. That's just not... I don't like it. These things hit pretty hard. But there's a rare... I, I'm actually... I'm questioning myself now. There is absolutely rares... Not rares. Uh, elites. There's... I think they're level 25 elites called Son of Arugals. There are multiple of them here in Silver Pine Forest that walk around. And it's absolutely a thing in TBC. I, But I have not seen one, I don't think, in Season of Mastery. And, you know, just plain old classic. So I don't, I don't know if that's still a thing. Maybe they're not in the game yet. I'm not sure. But we are going to keep an eye out. Because that uh, is a big reason of where they're just stay here and quest and try to get some of this stuff done. We do have somebody else in the area. Let's see who we have. Helps us out a little bit getting through here. We also killed a rare last episode. We killed. Um, I think it's called Gorfang the Wolf. Oh, we got a Warlock over here. And it dropped... It dropped a belt. It dropped this belt right here. Stats aren't really the best for us. I mean, uh, 20 extra health is nice. But we had a... Uh, I think we had a gray item. <laughs> so, was an upgrade. Let's go get this Silver Leaf. Hopefully I didn't steal this from her. I try not to do stuff like that. If somebody's fighting a mob and there's, you know, a mining node or a herb nearby, I um I'll generally see if they're going if they're killing the mob to get to it. Cause I don't like it when somebody does that to me. Anyway, see if we can get these uh, these skittering blood from these spiders. Should turn into mostly spiders right up here. There we go. Damn, damn, damn. Not going into the cave. Caves are not good. Also, spiders uh, will put a dot on you. They put poison stacks on you. You get a couple of mobs on you. Before you know it, with the dot, you're in bad shape. Bear's a little bit too close for me. Let's see if we can get this backstab off. Yes. Yes, we can. That's a pretty good damage there. Look at that, man. Wow, that was like six misses total. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how we didn't pull him. There he is right there. There he is right there. That thing will... That's it. 
We can't stealth away from that. We won't be able to hit him with gouge. And there are more than one of these mobs, and they have these really long paths that they do. I don't even want to be anywhere near it. I think it's a level 25 elite. That's why we it's a skull to us. But you see what I mean? If you put it, I mentioned this in the last episode. If you skull something like that, you can see it through trees and stuff. So try to pay attention to that because that's it. That will be done if we get hit with that. Oh, boy. There's the poison I was talking about, and I think they stack. It's a pretty helpless feeling when you've got a dot on you and you're very low on health and there's just nothing you can do about it. <laughs> uh, you can't use a bandage if you have a dot. You'll get interrupted. But I do believe you can eat. You can sit down and eat and drink. Uh, that may have changed with later expansions. But I think in Classic and in TBC, you can do that. You don't get interrupted for some reason. All right, let's pull him over. We've got a pretty decent main hand. We've got a green dagger, and we we got an upgraded uh, offhand dagger last episode. It's just a white item, but it does more damage than our other one was doing. So uh, it would be nice to make a couple of sales on the auction house. And maybe make, I don't know, get a couple of silver in the bag and we might be able to find something. What? Oh. Okay, we've got the warlock here. Where did the mob go? So that thing will stay sculled until it moves out of range, which it's probably done, or somebody kills it. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Or you leave the zone. Nope. It's nothing. <laughs> that drives me crazy. <laughs> they turn around as soon as you go to strike them. Yeah, I'm not the best rogue. At all. Yeah, this, I, I think after this quest, if we can get this quest done, I think we are going to move over to the Barrens. Uh, because, and that, like, around the crossroads and stuff, it's like level, you can get level 10s, 10, 11. And especially if we're in, uh, what's that other place called? Um, Not the cross, it's south of the, uh, it's, it's in Duratar, not the Barrens. I can't remember what the hell it's called. I'm just going to pull him over. There's too many things over here for me to be stealthing and trying to get close to mobs. Oh, she put a little curse of agony up on the mob. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, we could get into a group if, you know, if I made an effort or somebody invited us. No, there's no rules against it. It would be helpful for us. This is a pretty crap drop rate on this stuff. See if we can get this one. She's on the same quest. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Too far away. Yes. There's also an undead fish vendor just right over this little ridge right here. I always thought he should be a fishing trainer, but he's not. There's some more skittering blood. But uh, if you're ever in this area and you need a quick vendor, he's right here. Let's see what he's got. I always forget. This is Killian Sanatha. Sanatha. Sell the Icker quest item. Gonna sell that. Sell that. Save that. Oh, he's got two recipes. Watch we don't really have the funds to be picking up uh, luxuries like recipes right now. There we go. It makes sense that these spiders turn really quick like they do. Spiders are kind of quick and... But it is also annoying. 
when you're stealth and you're trying to get behind a mob that's just making random turns really, really quickly. All right. Got a spider? Is he alive? He is alive. I would much rather be stealth to get him, but... I just don't like how close they are. All right, we're going to pull him like this. I don't like that bear. Bears are tanky as hell. Yeah, so we'll get this quest turned in, and uh, more than likely we'll just abandon the quest that we have here, and we will make our way. I'll probably just start the episode over um, in Duratar. You know, I'll get the flight path. I'll fly to, you know, we'll take the Zeppelin to Ogremar, pick up the flight path, and then we'll uh, go over to the crossroads and uh, have some fun out there. I think... Um, I think Alpine Gaming, I think Mr. Cyrillic, his Undead Warrior, I think he's made the same decision. I think it's a good choice, man. He was having some close calls, and he has had some really close calls on that Warrior. <laughs> really close calls. Warrior life is rough. You pretty much have to have health pots on you as part of your rotation. At least that's been my experience on Mountain, especially the early levels. You know, you get a little, you get some levels under your belt. You you can get some decent plate gear. That armor helps, but boy, it's rough in the beginning. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and kill the bears in this area anyway. Because I think they share, um, they share the spawn with the spiders and stuff. It's also XP. The only downside to fighting uh, animal mobs is we can't eat their corpse. We've got a quick health pot here. We've got no bandages. Just be a little bit careful of stuff popping up. That um, the war between the warlock and myself, we've killed a lot of mobs here, which means stuff can just spawn right on top of you. Missed it. Missed backstab. Like a pro. And missed eviscerate. We've been missing a lot. See this? Did he just pop back up? That might be an overlapping mob right there. Also, let me see something. Does that break me? Yeah, that breaks you out of stealth too if you have a dot. I can't stand dots. It is worth getting... Um, First aid up so we can cure poison. We can't do anything with disease or, you know, curses, but uh, it is helpful when fighting these mobs to be able to cure poison. And uh, these mobs sometimes drop that small venom sack, which is what you need to make the antidote. Nope. Get out of here. I, need to get closer. I feel like I should be able to get fairly close to something that is my level. I understand if it's something is a higher level than me. They can kind of see me. I can't get that close. We were pretty close, though. There's a small venom sack. Right. Um, come over here. I want to pull these guys away from the middle. I don't want to be in the middle. bit low right here. There's some blood. We need two more. Alright, I gotta wait till this poison goes away. I need to get my act together, man. I need to get... Um, I need to train cooking. I need to train... Oh, we've got first aid. I need to get some bandages made up. I need to kill some humanoids. That's another advantage of going over to uh, the Baron's uh, like Durachar, there's that, what is it called? I think it's called North Hold Keep. All those humanoid mobs drop uh, linen cloth. You can get a lot of linen there. There are humanoid mobs here as well that will drop it, but I would like to get as far as we can. 
in the challenge. Oh my god. I'm out of range. Yeah, we can't do that. We cannot do two spiders. Uh, we don't have a dot on us. That's good. We should be safe up here. That's what I was talking about, respawns. There's a bear right there. Did I pull him? No. Stealth. Okay. Boy. Uh, sprint for the win. We almost had that mob down. We're going to hang around out here, man. I'm going to try to pick stuff off from the outside. Because I don't like I don't like what's happening here. <laughs> All right, let's get this bear. Really, three times in a row. Missed twice and got parried. Trying to apply our second uh, combo point there. That's rough, man. And that's our level. <laughs> let's grab this herb, I suppose. Yeah, I've never really, uh, like I said, I've mentioned this plenty of times. I do prefer ranged classes, and especially Hunter or Warlock, because you've, I don't, it's just, it's a little bit more chill. It is a lot more chill, because you've got a tanky pet, and you can sit back and just kind of, you know, you can do your damage from afar. Not everybody's play style. It, the rogue is fun, though, and I'm having fun on mountain as well, I, I have to say. We've got the whirlwind sword. We've got some good abilities. We can interrupt if we need to. Fucking hell. It's hard to get the four combo points on there. Um, we just seem to kill off the target before it happens. And I, a lot of that has to do with how much we're missing... nice come on get a hit in there <laughs> oh man all right let's let our health tick up let's see if we can get these last two skittering bloods and we will get the hell out of here i feel like level 14 level 15 is it's just a lot, it's a lot easier in this area. He turned right on top of me. We, I think we got it, though. We did get it. They always seem to get that poison off right before they die. I wonder if that's, if that's just how they do it, right? They're, they're getting ready to die and they, they chuck that poison on you. It seems to be how that works. I'm going to pull him over. These aren't as tanky as the bears, so I don't really mind missing uh, backstab or not getting it off, rather. Looks like the, uh, the warlock moved on a a while ago. Level 13, I would like to get the backstab off, uh, off on this one. Going to turn around? Of course. Of course you're going to turn around. Right at the exact moments I go to put it on him. <laughs> I've not really... S oh, you can't sap... Um, I don't think we can sap these, right? It has to be a humanoid target. Yeah, it only works on humanoids. Man, we got low. It's actually not that bad, right? I keep saying, oh, God, we got low. It's 50% still. I, I don't like it. <laughs> sure would be nice if we could get uh, these last two, I'll tell you.
That would be nice. Um, I feel like this is a little bit risky. Just being in the middle of all this, these damn spiders. Got that one. But if you're in an area like this, you know, if you're doing kind of a challenge like this, there's a lot of mobs around. It's always best, once you get, like, if you've stealthed up to the mob, just fight it where it's at. You don't want to be running too far back. That's how you run into other stuff. And most of the time, they have certain, like, he'll stay pretty much here, right? This mob will stay pretty much here. They do have overlapping patterns, but you are going to be safer if you just kind of stay where that mob is at. You know what I mean? You guys are like, yeah. Yeah, we we know. <laughs> But I've killed this one, so I am going to bring it back a little further from these other mobs here. So he got that poison off kind of right off the bat. So my theory went out the window that they only apply it when they're low. Man. I hate drop rates like this. It drives me crazy. If there's anything I would change about the game, it's... Well, that's one of the things. Like, just ridiculously low drop rates don't make any sense. They just don't make any sense. If you've got to kill 10... If you need 10 things, kill 10, kill 10 of the things you need to get it. Right? <laughs> this is where we had the two on us. Be a little bit careful here. I don't know, maybe 50%, right? Like every other one, you get it. But when you go, when you kill 10 things and you haven't gotten the drop, it's stupid. <laughs> it drives me nuts. You're like, well, yeah, the amount of complaining you do about it, that's clear. <laughs> but I will, I will abandon a quest in a heartbeat. If I get too frustrated... And stuff just isn't dropping like this. This is a prime example. In fact, we haven't picked one up in so long. The quest has disappeared over here. So surely that's like 10 mobs in a row that we've killed and not gotten the freaking drop. Let's wait till he walks back over here. I'm pretty sure he'll make a noise and call his buddy. There he goes. But at the same time, it's, you know, you get like halfway in, right? You've spent so much time on it. It's like, well, I don't want to abandon it now because I have, you know, six of the ten things. Oh, man. Stop turning around so quickly. Come away from the other spider. All right, we just need one more. Let's wait till this poison ticks off. Yeah, no way in hell I'm going in that in that cave, man. If I was level 14, we we might go in it in there. If, you know, if I'm one or two levels above something, it feels a little bit better, but I'm there's no way I'm going in that cave right now. It's a long poison, too. Also, I want to I want to thank everybody for uh, for all the comments people have been leaving. Oh my goodness, is that of the agility of the spirit? I thought it was agility. I guess there's yeah, there's stuff of agility. Um, yeah, we're, we're not going to trade that up, but we we can probably sell that. 
that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate um, people have been pretty active leaving comments, and I love it, man. I read every comment. I do miss comments, and I've um, I try not to, but I do find that there's just comments that like I don't see, and I don't know uh, I don't know what that is. Like I won't see them till like a week later, and I'm not sure I'm not sure why. But I'll get a notification somebody's left a comment, and I'll, I'll reply to every comment that I see. Oh, that's handy. Um, and then, you know, like a day or two la later, I get notifications, so uh, I have more comments. And as I'm looking at those comments, I'll see another comment that I just did not see or get a notification about. So if I ever don't reply, uh, it's just because I, I haven't seen it, my friends. But I do appreciate everybody who... I appreciate everybody that watches whether they they leave a comment or not. Uh, let's see, what are we doing here? It looks like we've maxed that out. All right, let's get over here. We're safe, and we'll pick a we'll pick a talent. What are we doing on time? Yeah, we do have to wrap it up. We just need one more skittering blood. But let's see what we're gonna do here. Um. Yeah, I like immediate stuff, not stuff that's gonna give us. Um, an increase like this gives us a chance it gives us 20% chance increased critical strike chance on our next sinister striker backstab but that's after killing something so I want immediate I'm an immediate rewards kind of guy increases your crit chance by 1% that could be 5% that's good I don't know what is the best um, leveling spec again I'm not somebody who looks at guides or usually follows what the most popular thing is I've always played every character and every class just by feel and I play them different for the most part every time um, increase the effect duration of gouge that's pretty good so that could go up to a second and a half increases the damage dealt when striking from behind with your backstab garrote or ambush by 4% that could go up to 20% this is also good as well. Um, I like this. Backstab is huge for us. We're going to click here. We're going to go subtlety, right? We'll probably max this out and get that up to 20. We'll take that. All right. Let's see if we can get our last blood from the spider here. That is helpful. I didn't realize we were that close. Oh, we missed it. That kind of sucks. getting dodged quite a bit. All right. Yes, he had it. All right, let's get the hell out of here, guys. Um, Gallows End. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Brill, right? We don't want to go to Brill. And if I had any sense, I would have changed it. But I don't. I don't have any of that. Nope. Get away from me. Oh, man. Come on. All right, we're out of it. I was going to turn around and gouge him. So that the elite that I sculled will still be sculled. He's just walked off out of range. But if he was in this area, I would st still be able to see the skull. <coughs> and I love that. That's very helpful. We're going to get back out to the road. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so we'll turn this in. And um, like I said, uh, off camera, I'm going to make my way over to the Barrens. And we'll change up the scenery. I do love Silver Pine Forest. It's got a great creepy feel to it. But it's just not... The bet you, your chances of survival are not that good. The Barrens is also it's wide open. Everything is flat. You can see the mobs. Yeah, it's just uh, better chances out there for survival. And like I said, my short term goal for this is get to level twenty. We've not achieved level twenty on any of our hardcore challenges, which is quite embarrassing if I'm being honest. 
but I have every intention between Lucius uh, and Mr. Cutter here, I, I think we can do it, especially if I'm paying attention and slowing down and staying in zones uh, for as long as possible or being in the right zone. I've never made it to level 60 on a hardcore challenge, and I've been doing the hardcore challenge many, many years. I have been trying to do it. I think we have a quest to go in here as well. Hang on. We don't really have time to do it. Oh, I forgot about that. It's in here. Um, Let's make this a longer episode. We hit level... Um, we hit level 13. It's on the top floor up here. There are a couple of mobs, but we have stealth. Let's see if we can stealth in, get this done. We may as well. I hate abandoning quests. But, it, but since we're right here and I know where this thing is. Let's see if we can get in here. We've got our gouge. Our sprint is currently on CD, but we should be all right. Especially because we're a higher level than some of this. We can get fairly close. These are humanoids, so I can actually sap one of these. He's a level 10. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to sap the level 10, and we're going to fight the level 11. I think the level 10 will stay. He's a better chance of staying sapped. Up to 25 seconds. Pretty good, man. Let's eat his corpse. We'll dine on it. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Now, once we pick up this book, I'm pretty sure an ad's going to pop out. But it should be level 12 or 13. So we'll make sure we're uh, full health here. Here we go. Might be able to stealth actually before we get into combat. Oh, okay. He's like, no, you ain't stealthing. I know exactly. You just picked up the book and I saw you. It's trying to be sneaky right there. I don't have enough energy. Get wrecked, fool. Alright. Yeah, that I think that was worth it. Be a little bit of XP. It might even reward something. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Alright, let's roll. Let's roll on out. Since we're on the road, I am going to use uh, Sprint. Let's see, what do they reward? Anything that doesn't say? What about this one? Sengin or Sengin Root. Okay. It's better than nothing. Five silver and this one rewards, well, we'll find out. We'll be able to get that, um, uh, that kick ability. Actually, not the kick, the upgraded backstab. Yep. So as you guys may or may not know, I was I got sick for quite a while. About a week or so. I am still feeling the effects of it. Not quite 100%. I mean, I'm definitely, you know, I'm well enough to be walking around and going to the gym and stuff, but uh, I, I still am a little bit sick. And that's pretty common, right? If you get sick, you pretty much can expect to be sick for like one to two weeks. Um, 
All right, we're not going to pick this up because we are done here. We got XP. We didn't get any money reward for that first part. Where does this other one go? Oh, uh, Undercity. Okay. All right, well, we're going to call the episode. Um, I will turn that quest in, and we're not going to pick up a follow-up quest. But um, we are going to head back to the Undercity. Yeah, I'll turn that in off camera. And like I said, next episode, I'll probably start us out at the crossroads and uh, catch you up to date. If, you know, if anything exciting happens, chances are nothing will have happened. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. You guys take care of Mr. Cutter and myself. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay optimistic and peace.